Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is all about why I'm getting a BBL round 2 slash revision. If y'all don't know, first of all, let me tell y'all because the way life is going right now, life is not going pretty good. So I have 17 days until I um, am supposed to be flying into Colombia. If you are new to my channel, then you don't know, but I went to Colombia in 2017, the end of 2017. 17, 18, 19, 20. I don't remember. End of it was so long ago, y'all. The end of 2017 to get a BBL, um, breast lift with implants and a um, yeah, breast lift with implants, whatever. So, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna start this video by saying I regret going to the doctor that I went to. I've been wanting to tell y'all about this, but I was I, I was like, okay, maybe things will get better, or maybe things will get better, but things are actually not getting better. Now, the only reason why I'm not gonna disclose, make sure I'm focus the only reason why i'm not going to disclose who my doctor was is because um i will be staying in his recovery house so i don't want i don't want two or two things i don't want either of two things to happen i don't want um to get treated badly because of my review and then i also don't want to be kind of like coerced or like paid for me to take down my review or like you know, like I just don't want to know type of attention on me when I do arrive in Colombia. So I will be doing an in detail review on my doctor. You guys have been asking for a long time and I promise y'all I'm going to do it, but I'm just not going to do it right now because I am going to be staying in his recovery house. Um, that all kind of happened by accident. I'm, I'm just saying everything. So that all kind of happened by accident because um, when I, when I initially went, when I, I can't even talk because I just got so much stuff to say. When I initially wanted to go back and get a revision, I wanted to go back to that specific doctor because I feel like he's the doc he's the reason why I'm not gonna say he's the reason why it got messed up, but he just I feel like he he didn't do as good as he could have did and I just I don't like my results, period. Point the fuck blank, period. So uh, why is my lash coming off? So yeah, so one number one, I do feel like um my revision should be free, you know what I'm saying? I did hit him up for a quote and he quoted me about six to seven thousand dollars but um yeah I, I do think my revision should have been free so when i initially realized that okay he's obviously not gonna fix what he did for free um i'm going to have to i do a lot of deep thinking and i'm gonna have to um find somewhere else to go so i did find another doctor that i want to go to in columbia but with the issue right now, if you guys don't know, Colombia is, um, they're not a lockdown. You can enter Colombia, but right now they're not performing any plastic surgeries because, um, of the COVID, you know what I'm saying, restrictions and stuff. Um, I did hear that they're still doing, like, teeth and stuff. If you want to go down there and get your teeth done, they are still doing that. But, plastic surgery, BBLs, tummy tuck, all that, they're not doing that shit for right now. So, initially, they, uh, Colombia posted and they said that they would not be allowing any plastic surgery until January 18th so you know january 18th the surgery the surgery community going crazy because they're like yo where the fuck is the tea on you know what i mean because people don't spend their money yeah let me tell you something y'all i already bought my plane ticket non it's non-refundable and i couldn't buy a round trip ticket because it's not like i'm going from germany to colombia and then coming back to germany i'm going from germany to colombia and then colombia to texas you feel what i'm saying so i had to buy those tickets separately them tickets was mad fucking expensive y'all like look at me them tickets was expensive and I, I'm not gonna lie they was already expensive so I didn't get a non-refundable ticket because it was already expensive like the fuck so I mean I didn't get a refundable ticket so now if I don't go to Columbia that's all that money gone and on top of that um I already have money with the doctor um not the not the deposit way more than that y'all like I already have money with the, with the doctor and then I already have money with the recovery house a lot of money with the recovery house so it's like everything is just not working out in a sense so Columbia did post something I'll post it on the screen well apparently this is what they said they said that let me find it in my photos they said update today the Colombian Health Department announced that the operating rooms must remain closed for plastic surgery for now until January 26 and that day they will say if Columbia will remain open or closed so as of right now, we don't know what's going to happen. I do have 17 days. My plane ticket is to Columbia. So 
I'm gonna have to I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do y'all but anyways that was that just had to give y'all that disclaimer at first so let me tell y'all so initially like I told you guys in my um, BBL video I'll link it down below if you have not seen it if you're new but remember initially when I told y'all that when I first had the surgery I woke up and then my booty was kind of hot <sighs> really it was my right butt cheek that was hot even through the recovery house and all that um, it felt hot or whatever but I was like yo like maybe everything would just be okay i didn't know y'all i'm be honest i thought that and that's my issue with the past couple years i keep thinking that it's gonna get better it's gonna get better but in reality it's not gonna get better it's literally only getting worse to be honest so i remember there was this one day that um i was laying on my left side i'm gonna try to draw to y'all draw y'all what it looks like because obviously if i enter if i enter a photo on youtube youtube's gonna flag me so no but um i can explain it to you guys though that's too, that's nothing so Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I. But yeah, so I remember there was this one day I was like laying down on my left side, and I was touching all right here, um, touching my what the fuck is this shit called? I was touching my leg and my booty, and I remember I felt this like knot, and the knot. I'm gonna be completely honest. Like I can't even cap right now. Like all right, there was a knot, so I'm like. You know, I'm touching around like what is this and there's a knot and I'm like I pressed the knot I didn't try to pop it none of that stuff but I pressed it like pressed it and I don't know what the knot was or what it was this was actually this was like I think like a month and a month and a half post-op it was a knot and then I pressed it and then I don't know what was in there y'all I don't have a fucking clue but whatever it was in there kind of like disseminated in a sense like so I felt the knot I pressed it I'm like you know I'm trying to feel it I'm like what is this press it and then like whatever the fuck is in there just like i'm not gonna say it liquefied but it like it like like it melted like i don't even know how to explain it but it was an i pressed it and it like melted kind of away melted melted's not the word but y'all get what i'm saying like whatever it was that was in there shit the motherfucker was all over the shit was spreading i don't know so i'm like okay whatever 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 months pass by and on the when you look when I look at myself from the left side good a one literally a perfect like a perfect bubble butt good projection everything when I look at myself from the right side it's lumpy like I have to draw y'all a picture I have to hold on safe it this is my left side of my booty like this and then little legs right y'all <laughs> This is my booty, right? This is the left side. We're gonna do we're gonna put L S for left side. Then we're gonna go to the right side. And the right side is like I swear to god, I'm not capping. Like it's like this. This is my back, right? And then it's like Look at oh my god, y'all look at this shit. Like Oh my god, this shit is so sad. It makes me want to cry. But I'm not going to cry. It's not that fucking serious. But like, okay, maybe I, I kind of didn't do that one right. So this is my left side. My regular normal booty. I did exaggerate the size, whatever. But on my right side, making sure my camera not die. On my right side, it literally goes down. There's like a little, there's, instead of it starting like this, it goes like, it starts and then it goes flat and then it got a little bit of fat then it goes. When I say my ass look crazy, y'all, like, I'm not kidding on it. It looks, it looks bad, but not only does it look bad, it feels bad. My butt, my right side feels like, damn, I really want to tell y'all who the doctor is. I'm going to tell y'all after, but on another video, but my right side looks like, feels like knots, like little tiny fucking knots. And the whole flat side that I draw for you guys is hard. So, and it's literally the size of my palm. Like on my butt cheek, I will say the flat, the ish, the issue of the area is about this, is about this big. I really wish. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. But yeah, you guys, and that's just the buttocks part. Don't even get me started on the breast, y'all. So he told me that my stitches was dissolvable. This is turning into a whole damn review, but no, he told me that my stitches was dissolvable, but it's three years later and I have still have stitches popping out of my breast. I have a stitch 
popping out of my the space around your nipple then also have a stitch popping out um going under like where they go under with the scar is like a stitch like right fucking here just popping out just looking like hey i'm trying because i uh, it's kind of hard not to yank on it pull on it you know what i'm saying because i don't want to do that because i don't know what the fuck i don't want to pull on it and then my whole titty fall off you know what i mean so yeah i am hopefully you guys understand why i'm going back to columbia to get a revision i'm not going back to get a larger buttock i'm not going back to get bigger chest nothing like that i'm literally going back to get it fixed now the little comments where y'all be like you good enough you don't need it you don't need it please take that shit and shove it up your ass i'm tired of hearing it y'all don't know what's going on behind the scene but i'm coming to tell y'all today what the fuck is going on with me so please y'all like stop saying them comments like i'm not going to get bigger or don't feel like i'm good enough or anything like that y'all please like that's not what the dealio is so yeah hopefully this cleared up some i don't know i don't feel like i owe y'all an explanation but i feel like for the people that do think that I'm going to get more or whatever, I'm not. So I kind of hope that I clear this up for you guys so y'all can stop with them fucking comments. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you guys are asking me if I am if I plan on um, vlogging it. I'm still not sure. Like, I'm really not sure because I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I really don't know. So, yeah, that is it for today's video. Comment down below what y'all think. Um, if Columbia does end up still close, I'm going to take my ass to Miami um yeah so period point blank period poo um i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video